Hello, this is Dr. Walter Harris, and I'd like to show you my technique for decompressing a potentially intumescent white cataract. I use the FACO tip to decompress rather than the more traditional technique of using needle aspiration. I find this technique to be relatively easy, straightforward, safe, and uh, efficient. Uh, there key thing if as with any white cataract is to first um, stain the capsule i'll show you my technique for that um, i like to inject under air um, with a separate air syringe and then i pull back on the syringe with the visi blue so that i'm injecting air first maintaining my air bubble uh, this way i keep the corneal endothelium from being stained you can then just irrigate out the visi blue or just replace it with your viscoelastic i like to use helon 5 because it's very uh, cohesive and dispersive and therefore it's not going to burp out of your eye very easily and it will tamponade uh, the anterior capsule once the chamber is filled completely um, and the eyes relatively firm you want to go ahead and make your standard uh, clear corneal incision which I will do to decompress the nucleus with the FACO probe make sure your FACO machine is set to sculpt settings with low vacuum continuous ultrasound and normal bottle height the goal is to make a circular central rent in the capsule bury the tip in the cortex aspirate and then quickly get out here I'm just injecting a little more viscoelastic I will take the phaco probe and enter the anterior chamber. You can do that either with irrigation or without um, in setting zero or one. Rest the tip bevel up against the anterior capsule. Go to position two, irrigation aspiration to create a island of saline under your viscoelastic and prevent a corneal burn. Press gently down on the uh, capsule until you get a dimple, and then short bursts of phacal emulsification in position three to get through the capsule. Once you're through, go back to uh, irrigation aspiration in position two and remove any uh, liquefied cortex, decompressing the lens. Now bring your tip out. Uh, viscoelastic will stay in and keep the anterior chamber formed and now you have a nice rent uh, which will not proceed to um, an Argentinian flag sign. Uh, capsular excess is the next step and we're going to just continue uh, rent. You can do it wherever it looks convenient. I like to go opposite to the um, my incision um, and then you can continue the capsular excess with the cystotome or uh, switch to uh, forceps. Here I'm using your trotta forceps. Um, try to make your capsular excess rather small because it tends to naturally widen, regrab continuously, and then don't forget to add more viscoelastic as you burp it out. I did not do that here, and you'll see that the edge of the Capsular excess starts going towards the equator. I grab the edge and pull it centrally to save it, but a better technique would have been to stop uh, and uh, place more viscoelastic in the eye. Uh, finally, before phaco emulsification, you want to mobilize the lens with hydrodissection and sometimes viscodissection. If you have a lot of cortex, just take a little time to uh, hydrodissect often from various locations. Occasionally, you will have liquid uh, cortex which you've removed completely and you're left with a dense white uh, wafer like nucleus. In that circumstance, viscodissection with your viscoelastic viscoelastic makes sense and then you can disassemble the lens with your technique of choice either uh, divide and conquer or um, chopping technique or prolapse the lens into the anterior chamber and remove with a supranuclear technique thank you